Hey folks, how are you? This is a new review by Heroes for a Day. I'm Argiris, your host as always, and today we're going to travel all the way to Wakanda, deep in the African forests. And how we're going to do that? Of course, by reviewing Ironheart, the new figure by uh, Marvel Legends Hasbro uh, from the very pleasing, very well executed Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie. Wakanda Forever was uh, Ironheart's debut. Uh, she's going to receive a solo Disney Plus series. And uh, here we're going to take a look at her wonderful Mark II armor. Um, first of all, let's take a look at the box, which is pretty good. I mean, by Marvel standards, is very nice. It's the the standard big box that uh, the pricey figures get to receive, uh, but with a twist. This time Marvel has updated their packagings and uh, they have removed the plastic window from the front side and the whole box is, uh, is paper nowadays, uh, which it could be considered good. It's more eco-friendly, more eco-conscious, uh, but you do not get to see the the figure that rests inside it's a uh, it's a little tricky so um, we have a picture of the figure front side top side the uh, Wakanda Forever logo bottom side nothing special uh, left side we have the figure again uh, Backside, we have the figure with uh, with all the uh, the accompanying uh, accessories, and uh, it's pretty good pose. Mm, nothing much here again, and of course, right side we have this beautiful uh, concept art of uh, of Ironheart. So, enough with the box, and uh, let's take a look at the figure. And here we have Ironheart out of the box and she looks stunning. Yep. Here we have Riri Williams. Uh, she was introduced in the comics first um, as uh, as a genius girl who reversed engineer uh, an Iron Man armor and uh, she started off as a kind of replacement for Tony Stark I guess uh, although I think that characterization is somewhat diminishing because she quickly grew up to be her own uh, her own hero, her own unique character and uh, she veered away from being just a replacement for Tony Stark or an alternative, let's say, for an armor wearer, whatever. Um, and it was about time she made her MCU debut. And uh, here we have her Mark II armor. She looks amazing. Uh, let's see here. Um, we have her with her uh, Riri head. I'm not sure if she exactly looks like Dominique Thorne. I mean, Marvel Legends isn't exactly keen on the, on depicting exactly the heads of the actors. Uh, they try their best sometimes. They're not so successful always. Um, I think this time I'm kind of mixed. I mean, it's not awful. It's Good looking, it's a good looking head. Um, it's one of the good cases that they've done a decent job, I think. I don't know, whatever you think, guys, uh, write down in the comment section. Um, the armor looks crazy beautiful. 
Uh, I don't think the camera captivates it exactly, but the color, even though it's red plastic, it's good quality red plastic, not just some uh, average color that they uh, sprayed on and let it, let it dry and uh, took it out to be sold. It really captivates uh, the essence of the armor. Uh, good shiny red, uh, it goes, uh, it has this really good contra contrast with the matte black in like here. Uh, I like the design, it's very, uh, very, very aerodynamic, very contemporary. Um, we might have a teeny tiny bit of discoloration here, but I don't actually mind because I like the design. I like the way they painted it and they've done a pretty damn good job. I mean, they've captivated most of the detailing uh, with different shades of black and this charcoal gray, I guess, or silver. It looks somewhat metallic. Uh, here on the side, this silvery gray and the gold trims around. Gold trims here on the chest biceps and the waist. Uh, I like the design very much. They've done a pretty good job. Yeah. Uh, the forms here, they have these weapons. I don't know what is it exactly. I'm guessing some repulsor uh, enhancement device. Whatever. It looks good. They all look good. It is, it is a very good figure. It can stand on its own, uh, it doesn't tilt or anything. It's quite good. And it comes with what one might describe a plethora of accessories. I mean, look at all these. We have a pair of repulsor uh, blast effects. Give me a second. Here, clear blue plastic. They look nice, they're, um, they're very soft, but they do the job. Um, we have this pair of uh, semi-open uh, palms that have peck holes and, of course, you can peg a blasting effect on the palm. We have this this pair of thrusters here uh, that latch on to the back of the armor. They're quite good. Nice design, a little bit of extra for the armor. We have this uh, smoke effects that go uh, around the, the repulsor. Bless, something like that. Pretty good. We have also this, uh, this tiny pieces from, uh, made with clear plastic. And uh, the, these are, I guess, flight effects that slide in the thrusters. Quite good. We have, of course, the Iron Heart. Mark II armor helmet, and it looks very nice. It retains this uh, this unique design from the rest of the armor. It's very very nice. Uh, it distinguishes itself from a classic Iron Man armor, but at the same time, it pays homage to the legacy of Tony Stark. Uh, I really, really like it. I really like the design. They've done an exceptional job. Uh, and last but not least, this uh, railgun here that goes to the right arm and this cable that pegs around here and the other piece pegs on one of the thrusters and it, it looks really, really nice. A lot of accessories. Um, yeah, I like that. I mean, 
as a figure, as a whole, it could be considered a little pricey for, uh, I don't know, 45 or 50 euros. It is kind of pricey. Um, Hasbro have uh, increased their prices, but compared to, let's say, Defender Strange. Here, when I bought this figure, it looked, it seemed to me also somewhat pricey, and it was at about 40 or 45 euros, I don't remember exactly, and it only contained a couple of extra hands and the portal effect. And it was so obvious that it was overpriced, and that made it not very welcoming as a figure, even though I loved the design and the figure as a, as a whole. But with all these accessories for Ironheart here, the price, even though it's high, it doesn't seem that high. That's the difference. It's it's a different it's a difference of appearance of a, um, it's the sense of it. Now let's check the articulation. Let's bring it closer. Um, the head rotates fully. It bends a little forward, moves up, very good. Um, here the bicep rotates, even though I think the design of the armor kind of obstructs it. I don't know if it goes up to that point, perhaps. Uh, the bicep rotates right at this point. We have uh, double elbow joint, very good. I think the this weapon here, uh, it it covers the fact that the hands are too thin. I'm guessing due to the the physique of the of the of the hero. So the fist rotates. It moves inwards, outward. Well, it's not possible to show that now. Um, the waist rotates fully here on the up crunch. Uh, let's see the legs. Uh, they move forward, but they get to turn because of the design. And uh, they have, they have articulation here at the thigh, but it does not fully rotate. Let's go over to the knee. Double knee joint works perfectly. And here at the ankle, we have this type of movement, only front and back, uh, no separate toe or heel articulation, but it works and it gives uh, stability to the figure. Well, overall, it's a good figure. It's solid articulation. I, I like that very much. They've done a good job. All right, final thoughts about the figure. Um, Design-wise, I love it. Uh, Quality-wise, I also love it, but it needed a little more working uh, on the articulation. Uh, it has a lot of accessories, I mean, you can customize it uh, any way you want it. Uh, you can pose it-ish, but you won't have any trouble uh, in general. Uh, I love the armor, I love the design, I love the debut of the hero in the MCU. It was all part of a great plan to bring Riri Williams uh, into the fold. Um, I hope we see something like that in the Disney Plus series. Uh, I hope we see her again on the big screen. 
Um, it was a good execution. I still wish for a transformation scene within the movie. I mean, we didn't get to see one. We just saw the armor just appear right, uh, right in the climax of the film. Uh, but I wasn't disappointed. I mean, it's a Black Panther movie. I didn't uh, expect to see Ironheart get the spotlight, but it was a, it was a solid appearance, and the figure uh, lives up to the hype. I wish it were a little bit better in terms of uh, joints, but it works. For me, at least, it works. It is solid, it is good, it's well painted. Uh, Lots of accessories, lots of ways to uh, pose it and customize it. Yeah, it's a go for uh, for me. It's a yes. Uh, so uh, if you do not mind to, if you do not mind paying a little bit more for such a figure, then you won't have any problem. And I totally suggest it for your collection. So, that was it about Riri Williams, about Ironheart. Um, do not forget to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to Here's for a Day to get notified whenever new, uh, new material comes up, and you can follow us on Facebook, uh, you can watch the videos on monkeybros.com, and of course, if you like my voice, you can listen to videos narrated by me uh, with pop culture and comics and movies and everything in Nerd Pop channel. So, until next time, unleash your hero.